evening, good evening, my brother. Man, as I see you, I'm, not, I'm so happy. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to sing song for Super Eagles. Oh, 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 one American infected HIV AIA to all the enemies of Super Eagles. AIA! Man, how do you see this match tonight? Ah, uh, it was a wonderful one tonight. Um, this is um, what one would call uh, the stone the honor rejected became the chief corner. Because everybody were thinking with the level the tempo was going, that Nigeria will lose out. Mm. Especially when it came to the final stage of the halftime, people felt, even Nigerians, lo lost hope. They felt uh, the keeper of um, Bafana Bafana mm. is better than that of Nigeria. But we saw what later turned out. I want to say God will bless Mwabali. He is the best keeper as far as this tournament is concerned. Take it to the bank. He is the best keeper as far as this tournament is concerned. And for whatever reason that he will be denied, then Afghan have played pranks on. president. <laughs> it was a wonderful one tonight. It was a wonderful one. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm happy. I'm elated. I've even lost my voice. No, that's how it. It's it, what. It's what. It's what. It is what. It. Super goes to the world. Mwabali to the world. Osimen to the world. Amazing. It was a wonderful one. Amazing. It was an amazing game amazing. tonight. Amazing. Uh, in fact, tonight's game was um, the finals of Afcon for this tournament. Yes, I can say that anywhere. Because when you look at, you know, the tournament from the inception to this particular point in time, this en such energy was not seen. Okay? You could see the tempo. South Africans dominated the game from the start to the finish. From the very beginning of the match to the end of the match, they were dominating the game. They were having possessions back to back. But I want to believe... The prayer of Savinos is working. <laughs> <laughs> Savinos said, by strength and by skills, Shalom. shall super egos not prevail. But by prayer. But by every prayer that comes from the mouth of Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now, uh, moving on. You know, I'm so excited. I'm so fired up. This is a better time. There is no good time other than now to be a Nigerian. It's quite unfortunate that our politicians are not giving us the needed joy that the super egos are giving to us. It's actually amazing. Now, how can you rate the performance of the coach? Because coming into this one, you can remember before the AFCON started, we lost a game. I think it was a friendly. We lost 2-0 coming into this one. So Nigerians were like, look at, is it the kind of tactics this man is going to use going into this AFCON? Well, how can you really rate this man? Because this Pesero, I believe this man is overlooked. People are not really taking note of what this man has done. But I want you, from your heart, tell us, how do you feel about this man? The truth of the matter is when you look at all the games of Pesero, um, this man has shown some sense of resilience in all his matches despite all the backlashes on him he never gave up mm. for whatever reason he never gave up he kept pushing I, I one thing I've learned from him is he takes every criticism to his drawing board and sees how he can correct whatever error that is bringing the criticism to him and that is what we've seen that has affected all his matches. He has not lost any match since this game started. Yes, some persons may have won with large margin, or may have had large um, goal, margin. Num uh, goal margin, but that does not hold to the fact that um, uh, Quesero is good. He's, he's, he's good. When you look at his tactics, when you look at his selection, he knows who to play per time. Even when we said uh, that uh, the changes of, um, in today's match, that the changes of um, Inwobi wasn't right, he saw that Inwobi was already gassing out. And at that point, if you allow him to continue to play, you end up, you know, having um, something you have to regret about. He saw it, so he had to pull him out and bring somebody with, you know, a better strength. 
And in, at the long run, when he saw that the match was almost ending, he had to look at who and who and who would be best to play penalty. the penalty shootout. The same person he replaced, he will be with. He pulled him out again. That was brilliant. Somebody will say, oh, why did he pull him out again? Because he just um, uh, put him in. But he saw that this person will not be able to fit into this other aspect of play when it comes to, uh, you know, the shootout. He pulled him out and brought people the likes of um, Omero oh, uh, and all of that. And we saw what played out. Omero did best. He showed he's a senior man as far as AFCON is concerned. He showed he has played this tournament before. We could see that maturity. We could see um, that um, experience. Did you see the composure with which he kicked that penalty? He, he is the most did composed. The, did you see the composure? He's the most composed um, penalty uh, shooter. As far as this tournament is concerned, composure. he didn't even kick it like he, it's anything. He did not give a larger uh, gap before. He was just there. He kicked it and was just looking, you, you know, celebrating. <laughs> as if he knew uh, this one, uh, now nah, just uh, kick, uh, kick aside, now nah, push aside. Wow. So it was a wonderful one. Um, Bersiero is do really doing well. And um, I'm seeing him winning this AFCON. Mm. Yes, I'm seeing him winning this AFCON. And it will be um, a good landmark for him. Yes, people saw him coming. When he took over from our former coach, we, people were, you know, they started bashing him, abusing him. People started telling uh, NFF to sack, him. to sack him. But one thing about success is, success is sustained in bits of failure. That is where success is sustained. You will not know a man that is successful without testing failure. You know a man that is truly successful when he has tested failure and still stands his ground, pushing forward. But the man that wins is just coming and is winning. You can't say that man is successful because when something had hit him, he may not have the strength to stand. So, Pesero has seen it. He has seen. He has conquered. I came. He has. Saw, he came. He saw, and, and he he's conquered. he's conquering. He's conquering. Yeah, he's yeah. conquering. By the special grace of God, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'm not seeing any other opponent that will that will give Super Eagles headache. Permit me to make my own uh, prediction. I'm seeing Super Eagles playing Dr. Congo in the finals. Mm. That's my own prediction. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because um, with the strength, with the tempo, the match is going. Um, anything can happen. People never believe Nigeria will scale through. The same thing people are saying with uh, Dr. Congo. That uh, <laughs> the the hosts are going to be uh, it's going to be a push aside for them, but you never can undirect any uh, any team mm. on this particular tournament. So it's a good one for Nigerians. Thank you so much for your I want to especially appreciate the strength mm. of Osimen. Oh! Shout out to Osimen wherever you are. You are a good citizen of this nation. In fact, if there's anybody that should be given the number one citizen of this nation presently is Osimen. Um, uh, uh, with all due respect, apologies to our dear president, <laughs> His Excellency uh, President Bola Metinubu. But by the level of energy Osimen is exerting in this particular tournament, he deserves to be rated the number one citizen of this nation. <laughs> Sincerely speaking, <laughs> I give it to him. Obviously. That's from my personal point of view. Yes, obviously. He's a good man. Obviously. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Have a lovely night's rest.